Today, we're talking always rivalries. We're talking about the two alphas of the WWE, Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. This isn't just a rivalry between Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Paul Heyman really is a key figure. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. I serve at the pleasure of my tribal chief, and for 20 years, I served at the pleasure of the beast incarnate. I, better than any single one of you, can spot the next big thing. Having Paul Heyman in your corner is never a bad idea, as long as he's on your side, as long as he believes in you and represents you. When Heyman is with somebody, it's like Arnie Scullin back in the day, he's only with champions, and you know that. My opinions are whispers, advice, and counsel, but it's the person that has to go after these goals that deserves all the credit. Paul's been around the business for a very, very long time, and he always talks about working with Roman's family way back when. Guys, I have let you match. I feel sorry for you. I knew the Samoan dynasty before Roman Reigns was even born. Hey, kid, uh, how you getting down to Allentown? You ride with us. And I ended up riding with the wild Samoans down to Allentown, Pennsylvania. And they liked me as a wheel man, so I started riding with them quite often back in the early days of my journey into the sports entertainment industry. My family has always, you know, weaved in and ingrained in the business, and I, I knew Paul, I knew of Paul, but the real relationship didn't happen until a little bit later. You know, Paul is so good about explaining the history between them that's been there for so long with the family. You know what your father taught me on those car rides? Balafi tu manu malo. I think it's a cool little part of their story and why they ended up together. You want to know what makes a great manager, advocate, or special counsel? Ask yourself, WWPHD, what would Paul Heyman